On the evening of Tuesday, April 13th, Chris Marcantonio was spending the evening with his wife Jessica in their home. Just before midnight, Mr. Marcantonio became unresponsive and was exhibiting seizure-like activity with agonal breathing. Jessica realized something was wrong and immediately called 911. Answering her call from help was emergency communication specialist Heidi Flores. Montgomery County police officers Mumper, Seymour, and Rogers were the first responders on the scene, arriving within three minutes of the 911 call. They entered the residence and found the patient pulseless and apneic. Officers Rogers and Seymour assumed chest compressions from Jessica, while Officer Mumper placed the patient on the AED and a shock was advised. The AED was charged, the patient was defibrillated, and the officers took turns performing chest compressions. On the next pulse check, another shock was advised and the patient was defibrillated a second time. Officers Seymour, Mumper, and Rogers continued CPR until the arrival of MCFRS. As MCFRS Company 28 arrived on the scene, a third shock was advised and the patient was defibrillated a third time. Crews quickly assessed the patient and found him to still be pulseless and apneic. Crews assumed chest compressions from the police officers, assisted ventilations with bag valve mask, and placed the patient on a cardiac monitor. The initial rhythm was ventricular fibrillation. The patient was defibrillated a fourth time. Crews were able to establish vascular access via IV and administered epinephrine, amiodarone, and lactated ringers and place the Lucas device on the patient for mechanical CPR. The following two pulse checks revealed Mr. Marcantonio was still in ventricular defibrillation and was defibrillated two more times. After the sixth defibrillation, the patient converted to a tachycardic rhythm with palpable pulses and return of spontaneous circulation. As the patient was prepared to be moved to the transport unit, Mr. Marcantonio converted to ventricular tachycardia with no pulses present. CPR was resumed and the patient was defibrillated two more times before return of circulation was achieved the second time. The crews worked together to obtain a 12 lead and found the patient to be in sinus tachycardia with a left bundle branch present. The patient was once again packaged for transport and neuroprotective hypothermia was initiated. En route to the hospital, a medical consult was performed with Shady Grove Adventist. Mr. Marcantonio's condition continued to improve and he began to move his extremities and bucking ventilation attempts. Upon arrival at the emergency room, care was transferred to hospital staff. Mr. Marcantonio was intubated and multiple tests were conducted. The patient was taken to the cath lab, but no evidence of occlusions were noted. He was then taken to the intensive care unit where his condition, condition continued to improve. He was extubated on April 20th. His mental status continued to improve and he was starting to be able to answer yes, no questions. And a few days later, his mental status was almost back to baseline. The decision was made to place an implantable cardio defibrillator and then discharge him to a rehab facility. Thanks to the professionalism, of call taker Flores, the quick actions of the county police officers Seymour, Mumper, and Rogers, the teamwork and skills of county fire rescue personnel, and the outstanding care and treatment provided by Shady Grove, Mr. Mark Antonio was discharged on April 29th and then home to his wife and four children. I'm going to do the best that I can here. Um, I'm here today because of you guys, and uh, whew, this is impossible to get through. Uh, I love you guys. Um, looking forward to hopefully getting you all a hug, um, and you giving me something that I could never give give back to you. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you guys so much. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are making such an amazing difference. Um, yeah, I wish we could just hang out and just <laughs> talk and talk and talk. You had their undistracted attention for hours. <laughs> uh, and I haven't had a chance to meet you, Mrs. Flores. Um, I wanted to meet you. So. 
thank you. Um, are you Megan? Yep, okay, Megan, thank you for putting this together um, for the opportunity for us to be able to see you guys face to face. Um, everybody, all of you are a blur. Uh, you were on the other end, and I, I, know, I know you from recognition because you were the one that tended to me, but I, I do forget your name. <laughs> um, but um, I just wanted to say thank you, um, and uh, what a neat opportunity to be able to just reflect uh, outside of the environment of emergency. I hope you guys feel um, just the indebted gratefulness we have for all of you, for your calmness. I, I think of you every day. I did not know how to do CPR, for the record, if you didn't catch that on the call. Um, and I, uh, everyone wants to credit me with saving, you know, save, I, I credit you, you taught me on the spot, so thank you. So that's all.